Hello friends, in continuation with the previous modules, today we are going to talk about the next module, uh, it's nothing but the module number 4, signal conditioning and the uh, processing. In the previous three modules, we talk about the, uh, some uh, fundamentals of the instruments. Uh, in the second module, we talk about the various uh, transducers and uh, in the uh, third module, we uh, talk about the measurement of the one of the physical constraints that is a uh, pressure right now uh, as we uh, can uh, see or look at look back at the what are the output signals of this uh, measurement of the pressures or, or as the output of the transducers are uh, very weak uh, so uh, for that uh, for the detection of uh, such a weak signals we, uh, that is uh, we will be uh, requiring the some kind of the uh, conditioning and the processing uh, for the further uh, analysis or the driving the some circuitries attached uh, to it uh, the output of the uh, transducers generally uh, uh, doesn't have the sufficient uh, strength so that it can drive the uh, external circuitry or else the instrument as attached uh, with them so for this uh, for these kind of the signals we required uh, some kind of the conditioning over there now the signal has to be conditioned and uh, processed as well so for that case we will be requiring the some mechanisms uh, so in this uh, uh, module we will be trying to understand that the what is meant by the signal conditioning and how we can process them to drive the uh, externally circuitries or the uh, our uh, instruments so the in this uh, introductory part uh, the number of the electronic equipments uh, require, uh, required uh, to amplify uh, such a weak signals is a very much important uh, thing okay so whenever we are requiring the signal conditioning and the processing of uh, the uh, such a signals will be requiring the large number of the electronic equipment so that we can easily amplify the uh, weak signals which are generated by the uh, transducers for example the transducers used in the medicals or else the scientific uh, investigations they generate a very weak signals of the order and that uh, order of the uh, signal generated is of the maybe a micro hold uh, or else in the millivolt or else if you look back to the pneumatic signals the uh, the airflow will be the in uh, some bars or some millibar or so and so forth so uh, we'll be requiring the some uh, such a high precise uh, conditioning and the processing of the such a signal so that uh, it will be helpful uh, in driving the uh, instruments over uh, the uh, industries uh, the, these signals actually they are not very useful so obviously we will be requiring uh, to uh, amplify the considerably so that the, uh, they can uh, strong enough to operate the indicating instrument these uh, electronic devices uh, actually we amplifies uh, the signals are called as the amplifiers or the electronic device which amplifies the signals generated by the transducers are called as the amplifiers now the one of the very much important uh, amplifier is nothing but the operational amplifier because it does uh, the uh, work of the some kind of the uh, very much uh, operations such as the mathematical operations or the electronic operation and so on so forth so, or mathematical operation if you look back uh, into it then the, it can uh, do the job of the operation such as the addition subtraction integration uh, differentiation that's why we call it as operational amplifier okay, it does the operations as well as the amplifies the signal so is one of the most useful and the most important component of the these nowadays electronics uh, uh, analog electronics the, uh, it is a DC coupled high gain electronic voltage amplifier with a differential inputs and usually a single output. So what is the usefulness of this uh, operational amplifier? It has actually differential inputs. So generally we will be used to have the two inputs and uh, we can have the only single ended output signal um, which is generated from this operational amplifier. The out output of this operational amplifier is uh, proportional to the positive or the negative of the 
uh, input signal uh, generally we call it as uh, inverting or the so non inverting or the inverting kind of the uh, input uh, signal so output of an operation prior which will be controlled either by the negative feedback uh, actually negative feedback uh, determines the magnitude of its output voltage gain or else uh, by the positive feedback which uh, facilitates the regenerative uh, gain oscillation so do remember that the uh, uh, this negative feedback determines the magnitude of its output voltage gain and the positive feedback uh, fa facilitates the regenerative gain oscillations the high gain output impedance uh, at the input uh, terminals and the low output impedance are the most important characteristics of this uh, operational amplifier so what is it uh, it has a very high input impedance ideally it can have the infinite uh, input impedance so that uh, we any circuitry can drive the that circuitry or the, sorry uh, not the any circuitry can drive, uh, circuitry can drive the input set. so uh, with a zero current can drive the uh, operation amplifier and the low uh, output impedance means it has a zero ideally it has a zero output impedance means the uh, it can drive the infinitely many uh, circuitries attached with the it this operational amplifiers usually developed uh, to be used in the synthesizing mathematical operations uh, in analog computers hence uh, it is called as the op the circuit uh, diagram corresponding to this or the circuit uh, diagram symbol for this operational amplifier uh, which can be seen over here it's some it looks something like a rectangular one so these are the some two inputs are given then the, these are the some power supplies are there and will be single and this is our single ended output so this is a differential input and the single ended output over here so let's see how it can be uh, and for what are its no notions so this is so you can see the uh, non inverting input non inverting input then we can have the inverting input so it is represented with the negative sign positive sign for the non inverting one then uh, the output signal is measured single ended output so v out is represented then a uh, positive power supply given on this side negative power supply on the other side is represented here and uh, then we can have something like power supply this piece p uh, vs plus and vs minus uh, can be labeled in the different ways or sometimes uh, kept out of the diagram for the uh, clarity means it is not if uh, it is not represented on the circuit diagram this power supply it doesn't mean that uh, it is not connected to the uh, power supply actually for the operational amplifier to work or to drive this uh, input signal at the output we must require these externally power sources uh, to drive the this operation and plus minus VCC also it is uh, called as so we can have here the differential inputs at the input stage two uh, inputs are there and only single ended output uh, is there in case of the operational amplifier and this operational electronic device uh, or the uh, is the basic uh, fundamental units in uh, any kind of the signal conditioning and the processing unit so it's a very much important part of this uh, such a kind of the processes thank you